All right, in this video, we're going to replace the battery on a Bulova Accutron watch. Now this is a Bulova, this particular watch is a Bulova 14 karat solid gold. It says 14 KT gold case. And this one is number 017241. I think that's the serial number. And this is a Bulova. It's a nice one. It's 14 karat gold. And uh, we're going to put a new battery in it. And um, first thing you want to do is you've got to get a, uh, a tool kit. And I went on Amazon and I bought this tool kit. It's called Eventronic. And you get a whole bunch of tools in here for... Uh, 18 bucks you get uh, this is the main tool you're going to need this is the tool that actually takes the back off right here as you can see it's got two prongs right here actually it's three prongs but I couldn't I couldn't match it up perfectly it would do a better job with three prongs but to adjust it just right I just couldn't do it right maybe it's just I just didn't have the patience or whatever but most tools just have two and that's all it needed I've already did all this. I've already taken it apart and done it, but I'm going to do it again for the video. So I adjusted this for the two prongs. It's much easier. There's, an, there's a wheel right here that you adjust. Okay. And the toolkit also has this um, holder, which really makes things easy. This uh, will hold the watch and it's plastic. So it won't uh, scratch your watch and it's spring loaded. So it keeps a good tension on everything. And this, just to go back to this kit, there's a lot of things in here. There's a piece here to help you uh, remove the band. There's extra band pegs. There's a hammer, a bunch of stuff in here. There's a screwdriver too. And it's got a Phillips bit in there. And inside, there's a lot of other bits, Torx bits. But the weirdest thing, there's no flathead bit no flat bill bit which is ridiculous because I needed that um, I'll show you that in a little bit so you're gonna have to get a good precision um, small screwdriver now this is an old one I had laying around jeweler screwdriver and it's pretty small and I actually had to dress the edge now if your screwdriver doesn't work if it doesn't fit in the screw you take a piece of sandpaper like this and you dress it just a little bit, just just flat, just uh, just rub it on the sandpaper to reduce the size a little bit so it fits in the screw if you need to. I did that with this one with the sandpaper and it worked fine. Um, you get a pair of tweezers in there, and here's something else you get in the toolkit. It's very important. You get this. Uh, it's called a bill, duck bill, or a, I forget what they, exactly what they call it here. It's in the book. Um, it's called the Watchback Case Opener. You get a book here that tells you everything also that uh, is in the kit. So this is very important and this will actually let you take the backs off most other watches. If you've got a watch that you just need to pry the back off, this is the tool that you need. And it really works. I just did it with a different watch and it worked great. And it's, it's as you can see, it's beveled here and it's real stout it's very thick and but it gets real thin here but it's stout enough where it doesn't bend or break and it's actually a, probably the best tool in this whole kit right here so that's all the cools now this is the watch now what you do first thing you do is you take it and turn it inside out all right you don't need to take the band off then you put it in this holder and we'll get it uh, we'll slide it in like this and then you tighten this you don't want it too tight but yet you want it tight enough to grab it all right if you don't have one of these fancy holders then just hold it in your hand obviously but this is obviously really good and I take a cloth like this and then put the watch down on the cloth then what you want to do 
is take your tool with the two prongs to take the back off. As you can see, you've got multiple um, indents here that you have to grab. And as you can see, it's, it's uh, equidistant. So if you put it right, if you got it adjusted right, it'll fit into two tabs just like that. See how I did that? You just put it right in there. And the two tabs exactly opposite of each other. And you want to be careful with this because this, these are metal. And if you've got a fancy wa watch that's gold like this, you'll scratch it. Really easy to scratch. Gold is very soft. So this is hardened steel. That's gold. You're going to scratch it. So be real careful. If you're trying to wrench it and it's really super tight and you come off and you you miss or something you're gonna you're gonna scratch it so don't do that so basically just set your watch down or hold it firmly put your um, pegs right in just like this and then you turn it you, counterclockwise okay lefty loosey righty tighty so you go counterclockwise now I've already loosened this one so it was loose for me but it was a little tight at first but I just kept even pressure and just slowly turned it and it worked it came right off so you just go like that put it back in there in the two slots right like that and you turn it here, I'll get back just like that see okay so you get it loose and hopefully it's loose enough where you can just grab it with your hands your fingers and you want to take this ring off there's a ring now this is stainless steel ring over the gold it's a threaded ring and it comes right off see so this is a threaded ring one side's threaded the other side has the indents to take it off so you got that done. So you take that off and you set that aside. Now the gold back here, if you can look here, I'll get it closer. You'll see one side has a little tab. So one side doesn't. The opposite, where the bull, opposite of the number of the bulova, there's a little tab here. It's actually part of the back and it sticks out. So what you want to do, and this would probably be easier if the band was removed but I didn't want to remove the band I kind of messed with it a little bit I couldn't get it off but I didn't try real hard so what you want to do is you just take your duck bill beveled side towards the tab and go in like this and just be real easy and just work it let's see if you can see it there just work it up see how that came right up you just work that tab up and it comes right off um, now if this if if it's really super tight or it's stuck I would take the band off and then it would be easier to grab this tab this tab right here because this tab sticks out further than the watch it's made to remove it so but I just use the bill and it worked fine for me all right so now you take off the back this is the back right here and if you look at the back it says uh, I don't know if you can read that um, or not but it says use only genuine Accutron cell mark 218 so this one says 218 and it says always install um, the, uh, with the yellow seal towards back but this doesn't yellow it's blue but just make sure the positive is down but I'll get into that in a second but this is um, this is the back right here and there's some little numbers there I think that's from a jeweler that actually worked on it I know jewelers do that they mark it if they did something I can't really it's a 77 looks like there's a date on this one 77 or some kind of number I don't know what it is but so this is the back it's got remember the little tab and we're gonna take it off all right so now we got the watch now this is your battery right here 
be real careful you don't want to get any dirt in here any dust anything you don't want to any dust or dirt or lint or anything will be bad for this watch so you don't want to get anything in there now there's two screws you're gonna to have to deal with there's a bigger screw here and a smaller screw here now the smaller screw is just to slide in this piece just slides in so you do not want to take this screw the small screw completely out do not and I'll tell you why because I did and it this is spring loaded and it flipped that screw and I got really lucky it flew kind of across the table here but I got lucky and I didn't lose it so do not here's your first tip do not unscrew this screw all the way just screw it just unscrew it a little bit to um, to loosen it okay so again the small screw big screw the small screw you want to loosen it so what you want to do is you just want to loosen this small screw a little bit just one or two turns okay just a couple of turns then you want to put your finger kind of here because that's going to snap up and then you want to just put your screwdriver right to the side here and do all this carefully and slowly okay because you can scratch in here and just push it to the side now that's all you got to do and it pops right up hopefully you can see that you see how that popped up right here because it was spring it's kind of like a, a spring now you see that okay so you've loosened the screw a couple of turns pushed it over if it doesn't push over then loosen your screw a little bit more but again don't take it completely out it'll flip across the room and uh, you'll lose it all right so now with this with this spring up um, you loosen this other screw and I already had it a little bit loose I probably should have told you but um, that's probably a good idea to loosen okay I'll go backwards a little bit before you loosen this screw or, or after you loosen this screw a couple of turns loosen this screw too, just a couple turns but do not take it completely out I already had it loose because I've had this watch apart already so loosen this screw two turns then loosen this screw just one or two turns then move this over right when you move that over then it'll bang it'll pop up put your finger there and this screw loosen a little bit will allow you to do this if this is super tight it probably won't work now this time I'm I'm gonna try to just loosen this enough where I can get the battery out yeah all right so loose loosen this screw here two or three turns the big screw the little screw two or three turns slide this over and then you can get this battery out without taking this thing completely off I made a mistake the first time I took it completely off you don't need to do that so do not pull either screw out just loosen them now the battery always print on this side don't print on this side because on this side I'll get a little closer here Pry it on this side let's see this side right here not this side because there's a little indent here that holds it so I'll show you here I'll uh, pry the battery on this side and there's a nice gap here too to get a little screwdriver in again just go slow for this you might want to use a, a, a uh, A wooden toothpick or something would be better but I'm using the screwdriver right now as you can see it's not super easy but I'm trying to be really careful too there all right so the battery is out batteries out there's the watch okay now if you look down in there it's got a positive symbol that means positive always goes goes towards that okay your watches or your batteries going to be this side is plain and the other side has a positive on it yeah I don't know if you can see that or not 
But this is pretty cool because this bull, this is the original bull of a watch from West Germany, two, 218. So I think, I think this watch had the original battery in it from the factory, which is pretty cool. So to put it back together, you just reverse everything. You put, you take your new battery, obviously, you put the positive side down, positive side, always put the positive side down, put it in this side first. This is the side with the little indent, okay? So you wanna put it in there first, and then move this, uh, this out of the way a little bit. And it should go right down. And it did. So now I put the battery is in, it's, it's secure. Make sure the battery is in. You can just take your uh, screwdriver or whatever and just press it a little bit. So you just wanna push that battery in, make sure the battery's pushed in, and then this will slide. Push this down with your finger and then slide it. You can see this is a slot right here. It slides right back into the screw. So I'll set this down here. And I'll do it over here. So you wanna push this down right here. Hopefully you can see this. And slide it into the screw. You see how I did that? I just pushed it. There's a nice little hole here. You can actually use your screwdriver to kind of use if you need to or just push it from the side. So you pull it down with your finger, slide it in, make sure it's pushed all the way in. Just give a little nudge and make sure it's, the screw is there. Then you just wanna tighten up your two screws. Don't super tighten them, but tighten them. So you wanna tighten this screw, the big screw, and you wanna tighten the little screw. Get them tight and you're pretty much done. Now you just have to uh, reverse everything else so again you take your back and don't forget the tab the tab has to go where the tab is here so you take your back you drop it on there tab into the slot very important wiggle it around a little bit make sure it's seated properly push it in with your thumbs so it's, uh, the tab is in, then you take your round ring, and again, you've got the, uh, there's two sides, don't put it in backwards, one side is threaded, the other side has the indents. Pretty simple, but you drop it on there, and use your fingers, just use your fingers to tighten it, and make sure it gets threaded. You know, push down if you have to, and turn it, finger tighten it as tight, as tight as you can with just your fingers now one trick too when you're putting this thing on is I didn't do it because I didn't have to but if you go backwards until it clicks that's a trick to make sure you get the threads so you don't cross cross uh, thread the threads so you turn it backwards until one click then you tighten that's a trick but I didn't mine just worked right away I didn't have to do that so I tighten up finger tight right then you get your tool and just again be very here's your tool again be very careful because you can scratch it put it in the two indents and snug it up tight it doesn't have to be super tight but you want it tight because not super tight because you've got a uh, you've got a black uh, rubber gasket in there if you compress that gasket too far and you get water the water will go in or the air you don't want to compress it too far so just like a, a gasket in a car if you've ever worked on a car you get a torque wrench that only tightens the pad or whatever the to the specifications of the torque so it doesn't over squeeze the gasket because it's if you over squeeze a gasket it's just going to leak you don't want it too tight so just get it snug use the tool snug it up a little bit and you're done and uh now you've got a running watch with a brand new battery and um, 
you're ready to go. Now, if this watch was just a, it didn't have this ring with the with the indents, you just need this tool to pry it off. But uh, this isn't that kind of watch, so I just threw that in there in case you're watching this. But we have a different watch. All you need is this platypus bill thing, and you just pry it. Look for an indent, and you pry it open. But this watch, obviously, you need this tool um, to take this off. So there you go. That's how you put a new battery in your Accutron of a watch hopefully this will help and save you some time and headaches again you can buy that toolkit on Amazon for 18 bucks or you don't really need all these parts so this one this is nice though to have but it's only 18 bucks and then you can do all the watches you want except for you got to get yourself a decent screwdriver because that one doesn't so I'm gonna go on Amazon and actually put a comment in there great kit but needs a screwdriver it's ridiculous not to include that it really is but anyway hopefully this helped you and uh, please like this video please subscribe and share it and hopefully uh, anyone else that has a watch like this or similar to this will be able to switch the battery easily now I know if you go into a uh, jewelry store they charge you 30 to 100 bucks to do this and uh, you don't need to you can do it yourself a battery is only going to cost you seven dollars six to seven dollars on uh, eBay or Amazon or whatever um, I went to Walmart they did not have the correct battery I went to Menards they did not have the battery so these batteries are hard to find just buy it online it only takes three days to get get to you three to five days and then uh, that's what I did so again hope you liked it hit like hit share and please subscribe Thank you very much. Have a good uh, good night.